This is an article from the Independent Journal dated Saturday, December 12, 1964. And down here, you will see that it mentions The Bike Lesson, Another Adventure of the Berenstein Bears, spelled with an E. This is the Circleville Herald dated Thursday, May 16, 1974, which discusses the Bears' Almanac by the incomparable Berensteins, with an E. This is the Berkshire Eagle, Wednesday, June 22, 1977, and again, Stan Berenstein and the Bears' Almanac. Now, I looked into a database, and what I'm telling you is, this goes on and on. I went through just one database, which had a sampling of 704 different newspapers from 47 different states across America between the years of 1960 and 2015. And what you're seeing right now is just a smattering of that from different places. Some of the bigger papers, like the New York Times and the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, are missing from this. But this particular grouping is good enough just to get an idea. And what I found is that there are over a hundred different instances between the years of 1960 and 2015 where journalists and other people wrote the name Berenstein with an E in these newspapers. 111 instances to be exact. Now what you're seeing isn't just copied and repeated Associated Press articles that just happened to have a typo here and there and then were duplicated over and over. And it wasn't just a few random misspellings here or there. These were found in articles, reviews, sales ads, even the TV guide. These misspellings went on year after year, decade after decade, if we're to believe that Berenstein was always spelled with an A. And I noticed from these numbers that the bears themselves peaked at their most popular in the 1980s, which is probably why this freaks those of us born in the 1980s and people who were born in the mid to late 70s out the most. You see, the problem is, is that we didn't just mishear a movie line that later got misquoted in popular culture. If you were born in, the, in these years, you learned to read with these books. And when you learn to read something, you pay particular attention to every single letter. It's not like your brain just fills in letters. You pay attention to all of the letters because you're learning to read. You don't have a preconceived notion as a small child that a word would look better with an E versus an A. You come to the table with a clean slate because you're learning to read. And... So those of us who cannot wrap our minds around Baron Stain with an A can't do so because we remember these books we grew up reading letter for letter and we did not see an A in there, in the name. So, it, and when you learn to read, you're not just reading it once or twice, you read the same material over and over and over. And this A is alien to our brains. That's why this is such a big deal to some of us. Now, some people think the change occurred sometime in the year 2001, and while I have absolutely no definitive proof of that claim, what's really interesting about this list is that even though there are 111 examples of Berenstein with an E in the papers from 1960 to 2015, only one of those 111 examples happened after the year 2000. Only one. Now, while you could try to say that's because the bears waned in popularity by the turn of the century, it cannot really account for it because I found 531 instances of the bears being mentioned between the year 2000 and 2015. And only one of those 531 instances is spelled with an E after the year 2000. Whereas, for example, during the 90s, I found 275 mentions of the bears and 37 of them were spelled with an E. So the question is, why would this many people from this many different states all over the U.S., whose job it is to write professionally for print journalism and advertising, spell this particular name with an E, which we're now told is wrong, year after year after year, decade after decade, without ever noticing it's wrong until after the turn of the century? Do you think that there is something very strange happening with our world today? And this is yet more evidence of the Mandela Effect? Stay tuned and subscribe to Punk Television to keep up to date with a strange and unusual phenomenon. If you want to help on investigating the Mandela Effect, 
Feel free to comment the data you gathered, and I will try to present it in this channel. And please share this video if you liked it. And do let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time. Have a nice day.